the MLA 30 mega loop uh, magnetic loop from China uh, to receive only magnetic loop it costs 36 pounds in the UK and takes about 10 days to be shipped here now there's quite a few videos on on these on such as YouTube and that about the noise now I've modified mine I do have a Wellbrook loop as well that is my main loop I will not be replacing it with this uh, more on that in a little while and the reasons behind that now one of the reasons I found I was getting quite a bit of noise was actually the bias T that it comes with now it does state on here it'll run from 4 volts to 14 volts so I powered it off my RSP duo from SDR play on port B got rid of this and that did help now the coax it comes with if you can see that is terrible and as I said many times this hobby we spend a fortune on receivers and on antennas and then use cheap coax now at this price point it's not surprising it comes with this coax this is permanently attached and what I have done is remove this and connect to the BNC and when you remove the lid on these as you can see it's resin coated so to actually strip this out and solder directly to the back of the board you'd probably damage it and uh, have to replace it so I had a patch lead with a BNC on it that could be fastened so I cut the coax inside and soldered it together and a bit of heat shrink now to do it better it would be better to fit a proper bulkhead joint and when you cut the coax solder it direct to the back of the connector but for the purposes that I want this for this was more than adequate for me in here we also have a little pot that we can use to alter the gain so I've now connected the modified MLA 30 loop like I said I've, I've removed the poor coax that came with it and also the power supply unit that came with it the bias T that came with it so this is now being powered directly from my RSP duo the bias T on tuner 2 I have my Wellbrook 1530 LN on tuner 1 I have set the automatic gain control to a, a set value so that is not being controlled by the software so just in case it is going to pull out a few differences the MLA 30 cost me 36 pounds shipped to the UK the Wellbrook was 300 pounds shipped to me now if you're on a budget the MLA 30 out of the box isn't great it, you do need to do the modifications if you want to see an improvement and, and make it usable not difficult modifications but uh, definitely worthwhile as we'll see so just to show that this is being powered by the bias t on the duo so this is mla 30 on tuner 2 as you see we're getting signals there with the bias t off we don't get anything so over onto the Wellbrook as we can see between these the actual signals is very little, little difference uh, the noise floor is lower on the Wellbrook as we go to 60 meter broadcast band again we're on the Wellbrook first and when we switch there are slight differences but not a lot and more than usable to use both of these loops on this band I will go to 49 firstly we're on the Wellbrook again we are getting a little bit of wide band noise there which could be corrected within SDR Uno if you're using this and as we switch over to the Wellbrook we can actually see quite a big difference in noise floor yes we, we can pull out the stronger signals and it we would be able to use it for that and again if we use the the wideband filter we could probably clean those up just a little bit get get rid of some of that noise but definitely quite a difference there so if you're chasing the, the weak signals as expected the Wellbrook is better on 41 still in the Wellbrook 
again as we switch over we are getting the stronger signals coming through but again the noise floor is better before i did the modifications i did have noise across most of the bands and uh you could only receive strong signals with it on 31 meters on the wellbrook i'll switch over to the mla not a lot of difference between the two on 25 meters If anything, there, I would say, even though there is an, an increase in noise floor and that, but the signal to noise does, does look slight, slightly better on the actual MLA 30 at this point. Obviously, as conditions change on HF and different times of day and that, then we, we can get sl slightly different results. So run the Wellbrook up on 22. and not a lot of difference between the two on that same with 19 not a lot of difference between the two it's more in the mid-range it's all 49 41 31 meters that we've seen the the biggest differences this loop is no good at all for long wave and the low band frequencies the really low frequencies so that's the Wellbrook and that is the MLA 30 if you're on a budget and just want to have a double with hate or just want to have a double with the HF the MLA 30 loop with the modifications is a very good buy uh, definitely get you started if you're serious about HF and want to chase those wheat signals then no, it won't do the job. You've got to consider something like a Wellbrook, a Benito, an MFJ. If you want better signals, you've got to spend the money. It, it is as simple as that. Now, I'll be using my MLA 30 for sort of uh, going away on holiday and um, trips out. It's just lightweight. It's, it's a wire loop, so it's easy to take apart and put back together. And for in, in a low noise environment, it'll probably work quite well. I'm also going to use mine as the RSP do as, as diversity mode so we can use both these antennas together at the same time then uh, that, that will again help me with low signal chasing weak signal chasing so as a second loop to, to use it for, for that sort of purpose again fantastic for the price uh, I hope you found this useful and uh, I wish I'd done a, a a bit of a video before I did modification uh, before I did modifications but I can assure you it, it was uh, considerably worse before I did the modifications <laughs>